We've all had musical projects that we put off for weeks, months, possibly even years. Why does this happen? It's just the nature of challenges. Most of the time, cleaning the desk or watching Netflix is just plain more attractive. I'm gonna show you a really simple tool that you can use that will break down pretty much any musical challenge that you are facing into steps that are so small, procrastination is pretty much impossible. So let's dig in right now. The problem with most challenges in music and in life is it's like looking at the top of a mountain that you're about to climb. If you are about to hike up a mountain and all you're looking at and all you're thinking about is the top of that mountain, that is not going to be a fun journey for you. But if you look down at the path in front of you, that first step is actually quite simple. That's what we're going to focus our attention on today. We're going to do this with the power of the checklist. So at the top of this checklist, we're going to put your ultimate challenge or your ultimate goal. And what we're going to do is underneath that, we're going to break that down as far as we possibly can until that very first step that's broken down just about as far as we can go is so simple that to not do this can only mean that you just don't want to do this at all. And plus, there's just something about checklists that really motivates us, something about checking those boxes off and eliminating the items one by one that's just gonna propel us forward. Now, you can do this with something as simple as a yellow pad, or you can use any number of note-taking apps out there to keep track of your checklist. I'm gonna show you something that you can use in Google Docs, which everyone has access to for free. And all you need to do is go to this dropdown for bulleted lists, and it actually has some checkbox functionality. So at the top, again, I'm gonna put my final goal, my final challenge, and just as an example, let's just say we're gonna learn a sonatina we're working on, and in this example, we'll say that it's 32 measures long. Okay, so let's work backwards from that. So to get to 32 measures, we'll probably wanna learn measures one through 16, and if that feels, again, like a mountain, we can break that down even further, learn measures one through eight. We can break that down to learn measures one through four. We can break that down to learn measures one to two. We can break that down to learn measure one. If we have to keep going, and again, there are lots of levels that we can do with this. We can do learn the first two beats, learn first beat, and if this is on a whole other level where we're just really having trouble getting motivated to get to the piano, we can say open piano book, sit at piano bench, walk into room where piano is. And again, as you can see, we're breaking this down so much that to not be able to do that bottom step on the way up would just feel Pretty silly. And this is just a really quick and dirty example. It's gonna be a little different every time you do it. And each of these can be broken down into further steps depending on how difficult it is. For example, if measures one through four are particularly nasty, one cool thing you can do with Google Docs is you can hit the tab button and sort of almost make an outline so you can have sub checklists of certain items. So we could say, learn right hand rhythm alone, learn left hand rhythm alone, learn hands together. Again, you can customize this to your heart's content. And what I love is, as with most things, I love applying these music principles to life principles. Let's try a totally non-music example, just so you can see how this could also play out. So let's say you're in school and you need to write a paper. Do the same exact thing, we'll just make our checklist. So our final goal, is to finish our paper. So to do that, we would need to, of course, write the paper. And to be able to write the paper, we would need to do research for the paper. And in order to do that, we need to go to the library, maybe talk to scholars. And if even, again, it might seem kind of silly, but we've all been there just that act of going to the library might seem like a mountain in itself. So we could break that down to get in car, break that down to pick up keys, or break that down to schedule time to go to the library. 
And again, I know I'm repeating myself a lot, but if you can just keep breaking that down, eventually you will get to that point where taking that first step just feels easy. And then those check boxes will keep taking care of themselves as you just put one foot in front of the other. Now, one word of caution here, you do wanna make sure that whatever challenge you're going for is appropriate to your skill level. So for example, if you are in your fourth or fifth year of piano and you wanna play, say, Rachmaninoff third piano concerto, there might be a checklist that you could put together for that, but that would be something like hundreds of thousands of check boxes long and probably would indeed be pretty discouraging. So again, make sure the challenge is appropriate to your skill level, but once you've got that healthy challenge, go ahead and break that down into its smallest components and get started today. And there you have it. Go ahead and give it a try. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching.